In this problem, we have what's called a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot, and we need to use this to answer some questions. Before we even look at the questions, I think it's a good idea to look at the stem and leaf plot and see if we can figure out what's going on here. You may have seen a stem and leaf plot before where on the left of the line you have some numbers, and these represent the tens digits, and on the, the right you have some other numbers uh, that would represent the ones digits. So here I'd have 21, 22, and 22, two 22s, uh, a 30, a 31, a 37, a 42. So that's a stem and leaf plot. It's a way to represent these numbers. A back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot allows you to compare two sets of numbers. So what we have in the middle here is our tens digit. So the fifth period, which is on the right, had a 45, a 54, a 57, etc. And the fourth period had a 42, a 58, a 51. So that's how to interpret these. And uh, you know we can probably make some judgments just looking at this already. Looks like um, these are scores on a science test. Looks like fifth period got the higher scores, 93 and 94. The only students who um, scored in the 90s were in fifth period. And it looks like, um, well, it looks like there were more students in the fifth period than the fourth period. Um, this this group had a couple of students in the 80s and 70s. For both periods, most of the scores were in the 60s, so it looks like it was a pretty hard test. Well, let's see if we can answer some questions about this now that we've thought about it for a little while. A says, what were the ranges of test scores for the two classes? So when you want to calculate a range, you take a look at the lowest and the highest, and you subtract. So for fourth period, the lowest is 42. The highest is 86, and then we would just subtract. So we're going to get 44 for a range for fourth period. For fifth period, the lowest is 45, and the highest would be 94. And we'll subtract again. So we need to borrow there, and uh, that's going to be 9, and this is going to be uh, 4. So our range there is 40. Nine. All right, let's look at B. Which class had the greater median test score? So the median is the value that's right in the middle. So we want to count the number here and then see if we can find the middle one. Let's do that for fourth period first. It's easier. There are fewer scores. I'm just going to count the digits here on the on the left. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11. We can find the exact middle one. 1, 2, 3, four, five, and here, and then going up one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five on either side. So that's 67. That's the median. So the median is 67 for fourth period. Let's find fifth period. How many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have an even number. We'll have two middle numbers. Let's see if we can find those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So it's this value and this value that are in the middle. So that's 69 and 70. You average those, you get 69.5. So the median would be 69.5 here. So which class had the greater median score? That's fifth period. Although the medians weren't that far apart, 67 and 69.5. All right, the last one says, which class had more test scores in the 50s? That's pretty easy. You just look for the five here in the middle, and you see two numbers here, a 54 and a 57, and two numbers here, a 51 and a 58. So they both had two uh, test scores in the in the 50s. So each had the same. So that is a little bit of work with uh, st uh, back to back stem and leaf plots.